Seven years ago, Anthony Buckley and Les Todd began research for their book at the Coliseum Deluxe, embarking on a journey that became a significant investigation. Todd's remarkable collection of stills contains every Union Theatre picture house ever built. Greater Union's archivist, Liam Jensen Cole, had access to a vast repository of Union Theatre's plans and photographs, but not of the North Sydney Union Deluxe. The trade magazine Everyone's revealed a photo of the opening night at Dremoyne Theatre, but none of the North Sydney venture that opened the same week. The opening of the Union Deluxe North Sydney in September 1921 caught the attention of the Sydney papers. Detailed descriptions of the interior's spectacular design and colour schemes appeared in the Sydney Morning Herald, The Sun, The Evening News and The Daily Telegraph, but not a single photograph was published. On the announcement of Union Theatre's plans for North Sydney to be their biggest theatre ever, only an original sketch of the facade by Joe Kethel appeared in The Sun newspaper. In chasing down photos of the ever-elusive Coliseum Deluxe, Todd and Buckley realised that picture shows were born from our roller rinks, a story where the earlier popularity of roller skating created open-plan buildings that would become Australia's first cinemas. Across Australia, popular entertainment venues drew large audiences throughout the week, and especially on weekends. Despite lavish advertisements and detailed articles in the newspapers and magazines of the time, some of our most significant venues have disappeared from popular memory. Les Todd is one of Australia's leading theatre and cinema historians, researching the significance of Australia's many picture palaces. Author of a number of books about theatres and picture shows, his knowledge of when and where theatres were built is encyclopedic. He is a regular contributor to Cinema Record, Australian Movie Maker, Dress Circle Quarterly and Prospect, and was awarded an Order of Australia in 2016. Anthony Buckley started as a pedal splicer on the restoration of Raymond Longford's The Sentimental Bloke in 1953 and became a mentee of Ken G. Hall. He has now been a part of Australia's film industry for over 65 years. He edited Michael Powell's Age of Consent, Ted Kotcheff's Wake in Fright, and Rudolf Nureyev's Don Quixote. As a producer, Anthony Buckley's credits include Donald Crombie's Caddy, Jim Sharman's The Night the Prowler, Ray Lawrence's Bliss, Tracy Moffat's Bedevil, and Anna Reeves' Oyster Farmer. His miniseries include Ruth Park's The Harp in the South and Poor Man's Orange for George Whaley. The Heroes and Heroes 2 for Donald Crombie, and The Potato Factory and Jessica, both by Bryce Courtney. From small personal view screens in penny arcades, through the advancement of large projection screens in fantastic picture palaces, from black and white silent motion pictures, to synchronised sound and colour movies, from analogue equipment cranked by hand, all the way to automated digital sessions of the latest blockbuster. Cinema has proven to be a marvel of popular entertainment, created by entrepreneurs and their incredible buildings. Building of the Coliseum Theatres began in 1910 with the conversion of the cable tram sheds on Miller and Ridge Streets. It included both a skating rink and biograph hall yet was quickly renovated when capacity was exceeded on opening night. Years of research led to the discovery of Union Theatre's 10th anniversary promotion, one that featured the earlier exterior of these Coliseum theatres. The trade journal The Exhibitor published a photo of the heightened renovation in 1924. The Coliseum now seated 2,476 patrons and was known as the Union Deluxe Cinema. Paul Brennan of PTB Screen saw an opportunity to faithfully reinvent the scale, decor and splendour of the Coliseum Deluxe. By researching existing relics and the photo galleries of architects Cabri and Chard, cinemas of a similar style with side balconies and elaborate picture frame screens have been found. 
For 10 months, John Laycock worked with 3D artist Adam Young to apply Rococo Nouveau Splendour to a CGI reinvention of Australia's first genuine movie palace. Peter Fenton wrote the narration for At the Coliseum Deluxe. Raconteur, sports coach, author of seven books and celebrated sound mixer of over 150 Australian feature films. Narrated by Bruce Beresford, one of Australia's most successful international film directors, who has directed over 30 feature films and numerous operas. He is also author of two very entertaining books about his adventures and misadventures in cinema. I've got Bruce Beresford narrating the film because I want a filmmaker's film. What Bruce has done with the commentary that Peter's written, he's brought it life and uh, made it more interesting. By the late 1930s, Doris Fitton had taken lease of the neighbouring Coliseum building and named it the Independent Theatre. The Coliseum Cinema, now known as Deluxe, lasted till 1942 when it was destroyed by fire. Only the Independent Theatre survived. Look above the awnings on any historic main street to the original second floor facades that hint at an incredible past. One that is now mostly forgotten. These theatres hold a special place in the story of Australian popular entertainment. They tell us much about our emerging culture and how we developed as a nation. Take a journey through 150 years of Australian history and enjoy a night at the Coliseum Deluxe. Thank you.